Hello and welcome back to Collaboration Day with Creative Blueprints. We are working on Too Many Johnnies, and in this one, uh, we'll be doing the folding. Stay tuned. I usually start with the background and the props um, because I can put everything over top of them in this program. So it just keeps the clarity of the background and the props or assets, depending on how you want to word that. Um, that way, if there's anything I need to tweak on them later in the program, I can do so easily because I draw out the whole thing. Even if, like as you can see with Lit there, even if there's a character there, I will usually draw out the whole thing for these ones and for some of my other projects. Again, the way I work and flow with each project isn't usually always the same, but similar in some ways, because I go with what flows best for that project. So in this case, this one, it's a little more cartoony and there's single panels, so I tend to do it that way. Whereas with the other one um, that I'm working on, that one, I don't do it as much that way because I find it easier to ink it as a fold than to ink the background, the props, and then ink the characters. So I usually ink the characters along with the background and the props. But yeah, so this one, I will leave it mostly as a time lapse, I believe, unless I speak otherwise, and enjoy watching the cleanup and the gray tone flat pass. That's all done, moving on to Lit. Now I've been using Lit, Old Man, Old, or Mid to identify them. I don't believe that's their actual names. Hence the title of the series. Um, but that's just my way of identifying each of the characters at this time as I work through these panels. I do believe we're getting pretty close to the end of these panels. Um, 
Yeah, I can't remember. I'm gonna have to recheck, but I'm pretty sure we're coming pretty close to finishing up these ones and finishing up this series for this collaboration day, um, which I did kind of want to talk a little bit more about that. I'm thinking of doing a thing where for collaboration days it might be a submission type thing um, with a few guidelines of what's kind of expected so that I'm able to fit them in within my schedule with my other projects. Um, I'll give a different video with more information on that since this video is for the process of these panels, but just wanted to mention that a little bit. With this one probably coming to an end here soon, that will open up space for a new one to begin. So enjoy the rest of me um, cleaning up these characters. So with Old here, I decided to fully flesh him out as well, um, and then I'll just tweak him into the chair even more so once I turn that prop on, um, do you see? Like a layer. I'm gonna call it a layer, but it's a vector thing, so it's like a folder of all the vector lines. But, um, yeah. So with this one, I just cleaning him up as a whole, and then I will place him on the chair, and then probably clean it up along with the chair afterwards and make them work together properly like they should be. Just gonna finish up these glasses and then I'll turn the chair back on and fit him into the chair more and then possibly clean up the line work or I clean it up after. To check my pen settings, gotta always remember to check my pen settings. I'm just gonna work on it here for a little bit, get him all up, and I will talk back in, in a little bit. Well, I guess start flats. See you guys at flats.
Okay, so I'm gonna start with all the facets, all the props, the background, and I will probably pull in the flats of the other panel to make sure that I have a bit of consistency between the tones of these, the grayscale flats of this project. Enjoy the fighting process, and I will see you guys at the end. All right, that's it for today for Too Many Johnnies. Um, thank you so much for following along on the process of the creation of this. I hope the week treats you all well. In the next ones, if I am thinking correctly, there are three more to this series. So we'll be wrapping up those three more. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. And that's a wrap.